Welcome to Electron Line. Our next problem deals with a box again. Here we have a diagram of a box. It has a square base and a height. And the maximum material we're allowed to use to make the box is 10 square meters. And the base must be square. We already indicated that. And we're looking for the maximum volume of the box. Those are the restrictions. So step one, we draw a box. Step two, we determine what's being maximized. So in this case, we're maximizing the volume of the box, which means we need to come up with an equation. And so for step three, the volume will be equal to the area of the base times the height. And again, we can see that the volume is a function of two variables, both are unknown. So we're going to need a constraint in order to eliminate one of the two variables. And the constraint, of course, can be had by realizing that the total surface area cannot exceed 10 square meters. So step four, we have a constraint that tells us that the area is equal to 10 meters squared, assuming we're going to use the max amount of material allowed. And the area of a box is going to be the area of the bottom plus the area of the top, and they're same in size, so that would be two times S squared. S squared for the bottom, S squared for the top. There's two of them, that's two S squared plus the area of the four sides, that would be four times, it would be the width times the height, that would be S times H. And so here we can see that the constraint is that 10 must equal 2S squared plus 4SH. That allows us to solve that for H and plug into our equation right here. That would be step five. So step five, we're going to solve for H. That means we have uh, 4SH is equal to 10 minus 2S squared, or H is equal to 10 minus 2S squared divided by 4S. We can then divide both the top and the bottom by 2, so H is equal to 5 minus S squared divided by 2S, and that can be plugged into our equation right here. So for step number 5, we now have a new equation for the volume which is S squared times H, and H is the quantity 5 minus S squared divided by 2S. And this S cancels out that S, and now we can go ahead and simplify that equation. So we have V is equal to, that would be 5 over 2S minus S times S squared, it would be S cubed divided by 2, or minus 1 half S cubed. So there's the equation we're now ready to take the derivative of and set that equal to zero to solve for the unknown s. So step six, we have v prime is equal to five divided by two minus, that would be three over two s squared. And now we're going to set that equal to zero and solve for s. So step seven, we have zero is equal to five over two minus 3 over 2s squared. Multiply both sides by 2, we get 0 is equal to 5 minus 3s squared. And then looking for some more board space. So now we can say that 3s squared is equal to 5, or s squared is equal to 5 divided by 3, or s is equal to the square root of 5 divided by 3. So that would have to be the size of the side of the base to get the maximum value of maximum volume for the box. And just to see what that's equal to, 5 divided by 3, take the square root, that gives us 1.291. So this is equal to 1.291 meters would be the length of the side of the square base. So now we need to find h, and h is defined as such. So now we can say that h is equal to 5 minus s squared divided by 2 times s, which is 5 minus, we'll take the square root of 5 over 3 quantity squared, divided by 2 times the square root of 5 over 3. All right, let's try to clean it up a little bit. So h is equal to, that would be 5 minus 5 over 3 divided by 2 times the square root of 5 over 3. And using the common denominator, it would be 
15 minus 5 over 3 divided by 2 times the square root of 5 over 3. And so that would be, uh, bring this down, that would be 6 times that, so this would be 10 divided by 6 times the square root of 5 divided by 3. Okay. All right, let's try to simplify it a little bit more. So that gives us 10 divided by 6 divided by the square root of 5 over 3. And of course, 10 divided by 6 is 5 divided by 3, so we have h equals 5 divided by 3 divided by the square root of 5 divided by 3. And that, of course, simplifies to the square root of 5 divided by 3, which is the exact same value that we got for the side, or another 1.291 meters. All right. That means that even though we are restricted to using a certain amount of material, 10 square meters, to make the box, and we're trying to find the maximum value of the box, Again, that means that the box must be a cube, not a rectangular box, for the maximum volume. That means that the height and the sides are all the exact same size. And that's how it's done.